We thought we kind of knew Putin. Why is it that nobody in Kiev and Kharkiv prepared for this? Why? Because it was inconceivable that a shrewd guy like Putin would actually do this. It's hard to imagine a president uh, who has more in his bones uh, a sense of what's at stake uh, in, a, in an issue like this uh, than Biden, who has been the ultimate transatlanticist and who I think leads an administration full of people who are committed to the idea that nothing is more important than sustaining American alliances. So if NATO were to get directly involved in a war like this, where Russia is on the other side, that would be the one thing that is most likely uh, to provoke either uh, Putin believing that it's necessary to escalate to the use of nuclear weapons um, or to carrying out uh, a devastating cyber strike, which we haven't seen yet, um, and certainly to the expansion of war onto other European territories, which would mean uh, the start of another world war in Europe. I see it. Throughout all of this, the world has witnessed the bravery, agility, and persistence of the Ukrainian people and their president, Volodymyr Zelensky. In the face of overwhelming odds, they have mounted a stiff defense against the Russian forces. And they have managed to unite the West and much of the world in ways that many had thought impossible not long ago. The question about his motivation is not just a philosophical question, it's one that we really have to wrestle with because it gives us important clues as to what he might do next, how we could possibly end this.